Many of us enjoy a libation or two here or there, right? But the amount we drink could have a huge impact on how long we live. Yeah, so April is Alcohol Awareness Month, and here to talk about what this is is our Nine News health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Dr. Coley, good morning. Good morning, guys. Can you talk about the effect that alcohol can have on our lifespan? Yeah, it's really fascinating. A lot of recent studies looking at this, and people who are regular drinkers, and it doesn't have to be large amounts of alcohol, but if you drink regularly, you have a 43% increased risk of all-cause mortality of dying, basically, and your lifespan is shortened on an average of 6.9 years. So I often tell my patients this, and I say, how important is alcohol to you? Are you willing to live almost seven years less as a result of wanting to drink every single day. Well, and I don't think people realize, we talk about this often, I don't think people realize how much they actually drink because, mm -hmm. you know, you may say, oh, I don't have one glass of wine, but what's that pour look like? It actually might be three or four glasses of wine. That's exactly right. And what we're realizing is that alcohol is really an epidemic and it's a socially acceptable epidemic. It's what we do to blow off steam and how we sort of interact with each other. But really alcohol use has, has skyrocketed in the last few years, especially because of the pandemic. About a 60% increase and the amount of alcohol that we've been consuming compared to many decades before. And what we're seeing is that because we're consuming so much more alcohol, in the peak of the pandemic, we actually had almost 500 alcohol-related deaths every single day during 2020 to 2021, according to this new study by the CDC. So those numbers that you were scaring us with, <laughs> is that for people who, who drink every day? I mean, what is the fine line? If you have like one or two a week, is that okay? What does regular mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you know, the Americans haven't updated their guidelines yet, despite all this new science that's come out. But the Canadians recently updated their guidelines and it created a lot of controversy amongst people. But it's really a very conservative guideline. And what it tells you is that if you don't drink, don't start to drink for health, because people often say, oh, let me have a glass of red wine a day for my heart. Oh, yeah, totally. yeah. As a cardiologist. Are you guilty? <laughs> I use that wine all the time. <laughs> so two thumbs down. So don't start drinking for your health. But if you enjoy having a drink, the inflection point or where the risk seems to go up of cancer, heart disease, dementia, all of those other problems is around two drinks a week for most people. Now, if you're going to have two drinks a week, it's better to have them on two separate days rather than having two in one setting because it's a dose of alcohol that's a little bit higher to your body, to your brain, to your heart. What about men and women? Is there a difference? Huge difference. And oh. this is also very fascinating, actually. So we're seeing women increasing more in their drinking behavior, especially really? binge drinking more recently as compared to men. And because our body sizes are smaller, the way that we metabolize alcohol is different. So one drink in a woman actually leads to higher blood alcohol level, which lasts a lot longer too, and can have more physiologic effects. Now, we don't know if this is hormonal because of estrogen or it's just a function of your size because women tend to be smaller than than men, but regardless, alcohol hits women harder, not just in the acute setting, but also in terms of their chronic risk. And this we really need to raise awareness of because especially a lot of women, if they go out with their friends, their male friends or their partners or whatever, they're keeping up with them drinking as much as they're drinking. Okay, it's pretty good to monitor what you, I know I'm with you right there, my friend. We. We've got some changes on the horizon. <laughs> I just want to find the balance, right? Like where I can enjoy, but like also be healthy with what I eat and work out and yeah. all of the other daily lifestyles that choices you have to Agreed, same make here. Too, right? Yeah. right? But it's hard. It is hard, but I do good. think it's, people shouldn't be panicked at that sort of two drink mark, especially if they're spacing them out. You want to have a glass of wine on the weekends. I'm completely okay with that. But if you're drinking every single day after work, you're drinking as a way to blow off steam. You're drinking alone. You're drinking large amounts, which which you know, can be as little as two yeah. or three yeah. drinks in one yeah. setting. That's where you really start to get worried. Yeah. Well, Dr. Coley, we appreciate you coming in here, checking us, holding up a mirror in mm -hmm. front of our faces too. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. By the way, if you want to find more of Dr. Coley's appearances at Nine News, you can find those on ninenews.com slash Dr. Coley.